Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are new here. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to use the smudge tool in Abyss Paint X. Again, specifically the Android version. The smudge tool is pretty straightforward, although there are two separate ways to use it. And there are different brushes that you can use for it too. So firstly, you're going to want to have something to smudge. The smudge tool is pretty straightforward in terms of what it does. It just smudges stuff like you would assume. I have some little scribbles here that we are going to be smudging. And here's how. So you will notice on this sidebar that the smudge tool is right there. It is pretty much in plain sight, but there usually isn't a need to use it. Click on it, and then you will see it is basically just like a normal brush menu at first. You can change the size of it, and you can change the opacity of, you know, the smudging. Then you can go into the brush menu. You can choose basically any brush that you have anyway. And that will be the smudge brush, so it will change the texture ever so slightly. I usually don't change my brush textures for smudge and blur, but you can try that if you want to. It's also important to note here that you can go into custom brushes. It's also important to note here that you can go down and choose just whatever brush that you want here. You can even get the premium ones, obviously, if you watch an advertisement. So there's just a bunch of stuff that you can do with this brush. You can even go in and edit these brushes like you would with the normal brushes. Then once you are satisfied with the settings that you have in your brush for the smudging, you can go back into actually doing it. I'll do it at full opacity first just to show you. You just drag across from one area and then that part is smudged. That was at full opacity and as you can see it can be pretty harsh sometimes and just get rid of the smudging color altogether. So if you do it at a low opacity, it won't just get rid of all that color, and it will more so smudge and mix it and blend it. Like so. I personally really enjoy trying to mix things with the smudge tool to get different colors. I think it's very fun. If you make the smudge tool larger, it is much easier to do this mixing and blending, as you can see here. Overall, it is just a very, very fun tool to use. I really, really enjoy it. It's good for backgrounds good for texturing certain parts of a drawing, it's just nice. Although before the smudge tool got updated to be like this, before a lot of people would have used it to try and drag their drawings around, and as you can see now that is a lot less possible for many reasons, it just doesn't quite work like it used to before. Now it sort of blends everything together, whereas before it would have just dragged it along and then you could have blended. But that's very difficult to do now with these new settings. So if you want to have that old sort of effect, there is a second brush that is a lot like the old version of a smudge brush. For that one, you're going to want to go into the special brushes section. And you're going to want to have a look around all of them and take the drag brush. Change the, th the thickness or brush to whatever you want and you'll see right here that it drags things around in a similar way to how it would have if you were using the old smudge tool. You just drag from a certain area and it will change the drawing and the lines to, to warp with it. This does take some time for a good effect though, so you need to have patience for this one. Of course, going back to the smudge, that is basically everything you need to know. You can only smudge on the layer that you are currently on, although you could probably merge layers and smudge those all together, I would not recommend it. Smudge is very good for creating painting-like textures, as you can see here, this looks sort of like a paint of some sort. So I would definitely recommend playing around with it and having some fun with it. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, maybe consider supporting. Thanks for watching. Bye!